Josiah Aragon's family should be celebrating his 15th birthday, but today is filled with grief as police investigate his death. DPD says the boy's body was found on Monday near a baseball diamond at the Southwest Recreation Center. We have alerts, you know, through our, our collaborating partners and, and um, that's how I found out about it. Jason McBride has dedicated his life to keeping kids away from violence in Denver. His group, Struggle of Love, opened this place in Montbello for teens to have fun and decompress. Each young man in there has had a friend die this year. And that's the sad thing, is that they understand what it's like to have a friend who was killed um, before their time. Police say Josiah, who went by JoJo, was killed in the middle of the day, around 1 p.m. He suffered trauma, but investigators won't say how he was killed. Losing someone so young is something Jaden Randon knows too well. It's like you're losing a part of you or somebody that you can talk to. So it's like, it's a heartbreaking moment. At just 16 years old, he says he's lost several of his friends to violence. Recording music helps him heal. I'm with my friends every day because I've been realizing my friends are kind of, you know, they're gone after, after a day, you know? Like even my mom, like I tell my mom, I tell my dad, I tell my grandparents, I love them every day because I don't know if I'm going to come back. And we're expecting our kids to be able to handle loss and death and violence and tragedy. Another parent, another young friend is feeling that pain. This affects everybody. And so this is everyone's problem. In Denver, I'm Kelly Rinke, Nine News. Denver police say this is the 60th homicide in the city this year. Again, nine were children. We're on pace to see more killings in Denver this year than last year's 96 killings, which was the highest number in decades.